so we are here at Cafe Literato. I'm with Craig. What are we going to make today? Um, I think we're going to start with the Mediterranean pizza, one of our favorites. All right, what's in that? Uh, we have a pesto mixed with a pizza sauce, uh, Italian sausage, sun-dried tomatoes, black olives, balsamic onions, and feta cheese. It's a lot of stuff in there, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lot. All right, let's get to it. All right. So we'll start with our dough, then we just press Did a few minutes. Did you make the dough yourself? Uh, yeah, so we make our dough uh, in the back of the house, and then um, it's portioned out prior to okay. uh, service. So. So we'll start with a mix of a marinara and pesto. Okay. And then a little bit of mozzarella. Mozzarella, yum. Some sun-dried tomatoes. Italian sausage. Black olives. A few balsamic onions. And we'll top it off with some feta cheese. And then we toss that in the oven for about six or seven minutes. Looks good. Good. Mediterranean pizza. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Have a good Appreciate day. It. Yep. How long have you been here? We're going on four years this October. So why did your owners choose the name Cafe Literato? Um, it comes from the Latin word for literature. It kind of is based off that, um, and so that's how we came up with that. We like the idea for people to come and kind of hang out and be able to study and read the paper and get a cup of coffee, um, and being so close to Purdue and having all those students there as well. What makes Cafe Literato different from any other cafe? The Italian kind of inspired ingredients, fresh ingredients, um, everything's basically made in house. Um, to have that and also the presence I think we bring to the community and um, getting away from a lot of the chains that are in the, uh, in the area and just having something different to offer folks. And this restaurant is serving more than dishes, they're also serving up smiles. A big part of our business is regulars and um, I see people in here sometimes for breakfast and lunch, um, a lot of police officers and uh, firemen and such are in here multiple, multiple times a week so um, it's nice to see continual faces and, uh, and it, you know, it feels good, it makes you think that you're doing a good job when people you know, keep coming back. So what does Cafe Literato do to help the community? So we uh, offer um, major discounts to police and firemen, um, donate a lot of uh, products such as food and um, money and gift cards and stuff to uh, various charities and events in the community. We don't ask for it, they just automatically give it to us, but yeah. And there's, there's been several times I come in off duty with my family too, so. No, it's just because I love the food. <laughs> Building relationships um, with customers is, is a big reason about why I love what I do and why I'm here every day and why I'm staying. You're going to get taken care of. Literato rocks, so yes. you get a chance to eat here, it'll keep, be worth your while. 